you are being rewarded for your thoughtfulness. See, you were thoughtful and caring in times where most people didn't really care, in times where most people didn't pay situations any mind. But as you go throughout your day, as you go throughout life, you are always thoughtful and blessing others and loving on others, regardless of if you received it in return. And because of this type of attributes, because of this type of heart, God is bringing blessings into your life consistently, right? He's bringing blessings into your life in a major way, in a stable way, right? In a way that's not just going to disappear and evaporate like in times past, because God loves a pure heart. See, you did things that you didn't have to do, but you did it out of the kindness of your heart. And you didn't do it with shady intentions, right? You didn't do it with selfish intentions. And you didn't do it to say you did something, right? And these are all things that go a long way in life. These are all things that lead to a prosperous life overall. Because when you move the right way, and your heart is intact, and you're not a selfish person, and you understand that you don't come into any situation, any community, you know, even uh, with spirituality, dealing with God, you don't come into any of these things, taking, 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 receiving, 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 and not blessing, not giving, not pouring back into the community, into the kingdom of God, into whatever you have going on, right? And pouring back isn't always money. Pouring back is being thoughtful enough to genuinely check on people, to genuinely help people, right? To genuinely pull people out of similar situations that you have gone through, chosen ones, right? But this takes thoughtfulness and it takes people caring enough to do it. See, many people don't do things because they don't care enough to. They'd rather walk past a person that's struggling or having a hard time, knowing that they could see it on their face from their facial expression and from their situation. But most people could care less. But this is never how you moved, right? You've always wanted to stop and take time out of your day to help, to bless, right? To remove stress from other people's lives because you understand that Helping others is helping yourself. Loving others is loving yourself. You can't claim to love yourself once you have mastered loving yourself if you can't pour that love into others because you're basically a hypocrite, right? If you are a boss, you're a selfish boss. If you are a leader, you're a leader that's not going to last long because you're going to be replaced by somebody who's willing to play the position the right way, right? Long gone are the days where the leaders are only concerned about themselves, yet they're overseeing so many people, right? Long gone are the days where the leaders and the people that have power are moving shady and doing all these evil things off the backs of the people, right? Especially the kingdom of God. God's done with that. He's not having that. And your thoughtfulness is going to be rewarded in a way to where it can help others by making sound decisions, right? By pouring into the community, right? By speaking up for certain situations that most people are scared to do, right? Even speaking up for who you serve and what you do. Most people feel like they want to hide their faith or hide their relationship with Jesus because they're so worried about what people think. But how those people think and their thoughtfulness revolves around pride and ego and all this demonic energy. So we're not worried about their thoughtfulness because it has nothing pure attached to it. Your thoughtfulness is free from judgment. Your thoughtfulness is loving and your thoughtfulness is going to change this world. And in order for you to do so, you're going to need certain things. And this is why I say God is rewarding you. You're not going to have to worry about what you need to accomplish things, whether it's support, finances, guidance, or wisdom, that's done. Believe it, receive it, and have faith and move and operate like that.
because when you do this and you believe, you'll always receive. And when you receive and you have a good heart and you move the way you're supposed to do, it amplifies your gifts. It amplifies your power. It amplifies the souls that you go in for the kingdom of God. And this is why he's blessing you the way that he's blessing you. And he's going to continue to bless you, whether it's manifested from the spirit to the physical already, or you're starting to see signs and it's starting to come in. It's coming and it's here, right? And you're fully deserving. You did things with no intentions of anybody doing anything for you. And it never hurt your feelings that people didn't do that for you. And God used that to test you in ways to see. Will you do things when there's no reward attached to it? Will you do things when it seems like you're having a hard time? When it seems like the day's going kind of tough? When it seems like you're not hearing from God and he's getting kind of silent with you and in your life? Will you still help others? Will you still help others when you feel like you're not in the best position yourself? And you may have been in a better position, but now you're in a different position, but you still help people, right? You still bless people. You still maneuver the same way, which showed God that it wasn't about the money with you. It wasn't about materialistic gain. It wasn't about fitting in with these people. It wasn't about pride, ego, or you receiving attention that you weren't ever craving. All you ever wanted to do was point souls up to the Most High God and live a happy, beautiful, loving life, right? Because God knew this. He blessed you with a thousand times that. He's going to continue to bless you with a thousand times that because you didn't have all these super high standards. Not like you didn't want to have a beautiful life or you didn't have high dreams, but you didn't think so highly of yourself off the back of others, right? Your standards weren't, weren't so high that it was like selfish based, right? Everything that you ever wanted was to yes, take care of yourself, but take care of yourself to where you could take care of others. You know what I mean? Because you can't take care of anybody until you can take care of yourself. Get that out the way, bro. Get that out the way, sis. But God knows your intentions aside from that. He knows what you will do with your gifts and with your blessings. He knows uh, what you have been through in the past that has humbled you in ways that's going to keep you disciplined and obedient to his purpose. So this is why things are coming your direction the way that they are. This is why legions of angels are continuing to bless you with peace, happiness, joy, energy, everything that you could ever want and more because you're going to need it to stabilize and maintain these blessings, to stabilize and maintain the new life that Lord Jesus has for you, right? To keep your energy right and to stay away from distractions and energy drainers from the past that are constantly trying to get in where they don't fit in. But now they see they don't fit in. And now you see that all the stuff from the past, as hard as it may have been, is miscellaneous now. And it's in the rear view for a reason. As always, the windshield, front windshield is always way bigger than the rear view for a reason. Because we're not looking backwards and life has much more to offer moving forward. So we're going to continue to do such. Continue to praise Lord Jesus. Continue to operate in our purpose and our gifts. And move in a disciplined manner that produces greatness. Not just for us but for others. And this is what your thoughtfulness unlocks. So if you know you're not going to let anybody steal your thoughtfulness from you or turn your heart cold and distract you from your purpose, don't you be afraid. Top down in that comment section and say, God will always reward a pure heart. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Make sure you guys hop down there from the membership program. Make sure you guys hop down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to keep you in the loop. Every time we drop, I'll catch you guys in the next one.